morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from the whole wide world. Yes, it's Mad Pixie with another interview with, and today's special guest is Bedhead Books. How are you? Hi, Pixie. Thank you very much for having me. And yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. That's awesome. Now then, I'm going to ask you the same question I've asked everybody else to start the video off with a big bang and to say why did you get into YouTube? Well I think YouTube has always been there really hasn't it? It's a big part of our lives and online entertainment in general. I think we've entered a generation where people have realized that they can aspire to be a YouTuber as their profession and they can work towards that. And, you know you watch enough YouTube videos you start thinking well What's my contribution? What could I add to this? What can I bring to the table? And, you know, my channel combines my two loves of music and books. And so that kind of is very reflective of me. And that's sort of where I um, fit in and, and how I came upon the idea to found this channel. How long have you been on YouTube? So I do have a second channel where I post vlogs, acoustic performances, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've tried in the past a couple of different approaches to making my own YouTube channels. And they've never quite stuck because I think I've most of the time been trying to follow the trends. And the thing is when you do that is unless it is reflective of you and of your personality, it's going to become harder and harder for you to fake the enthusiasm as time goes on. Whereas if it's something that is a part of you and you found your niche and your area, it's it's much more satisfying and it's much more comfortable for you. And so I experimented with a couple of other channels, as I think most YouTubers have, before I found the, the format that I felt would work for me and that's kind of what got me to this stage and I've now got this format that I'm gonna run with. Out of all the channels that you've got on there, which is not many I don't think because I think your new channel hence only got four subscribers, which other channel out of your um, few subscribers would you go recommend to watch? Yeah, well, as we say, this is a new channel, so I do have a very low subscriber base at the moment. From what I've seen, they don't, they don't seem to be too active. Um, they have a few, like, gameplay videos and, and vlogs, home movies, that sort of thing. But I would encourage anyone who comes to my videos and sees other people in the comment section to have a look at their channel, to, to see what they're about, um, because... You know, the beauty of having a small channel is that you can get some conversations going. And they have provided great encouragement to me so far. And they may very well do the same for you if you are a content creator. So I would suggest really um, check out anyone you see in my comment section. Anyone at all, just check out, just see, see what they do. And out of all of the um, channels all over YouTube... Who would be the one channel that you would want to go and do a collaboration with? So there's a music reviewer I follow who goes under the name of Mike the Snare. Mike as in microphone, M-I-C. And he does these really good analysis videos on a particular song or an album or an artist or a, a, a idea, a concept, whatever it may be. And... His videos are just very engaging and they're very thought-provoking. But at the same time, he's also very humble and very funny. And that's something that not only I aspire to be, but it's something I think that we have in common and that we could bounce off each other. So if the chance came, I'd love to do a collab with him. There's also uh, another music reviewer I follow, a bigger channel called Todd in the Shadows. And his reviews and his analysis videos are great. But outside of YouTube, he runs a podcast where he pits two songs against each other. And that is something that I would absolutely love to be involved in if I had the chance. Who is your favourite YouTuber? Sorry, I've got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he wants to join in, in on the interview. You done? There is a guy who goes by the name of Leon Lush. We're never quite sure if it's his real name or not, but he does a, a comedy like review channel. And, um, you know, he looks at other social media stars and, you know, the ridiculous things they get up to. And I've been following him for a couple of years and I don't think I've ever watched one of his videos without howling with laughter. He, he is brilliant. He's, he's very funny and very creative. And apart from also being a good musician and a down-to-earth family man. What plans have you got for your channel? I'm very glad you asked that, Pixie. At the moment, I am dedicated to making the reviews as best as I can. So progressing with every episode, experimenting with some editing techniques, just general things like that to make the videos a better experience for my viewers and for people who just casually drop into my channel. Aside from that, I would love to bring in other formats to the channel. Uh, I'd love to, there's some great music documentaries out there that, that deserve some reviews and you know there's some also some music related fiction out there that would be good to talk about aside from the, the factual reviews that I currently do. Um, and I've also got, as I say, my other YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to bring that into it and my other social media and create a network where you know I can have a community and we can have that sort of um yeah that we, we can just have that network across those platforms so that people can see what i'm about and what i do where would you like to be your channel in 10 years well as i said earlier really things do become so much more fulfilling and, and, and easier when you find something that you're very passionate about and so I would hope that in 10 years time that I still do retain this passion for for music books and for, for talking about them and you know I just really do want in 10 years time to still have something meaningful to say to have inspired people to think about music differently to listen to it differently maybe make their own music or own YouTube videos and just have that uh, that community and um, just achieve great things with the channel. Okay then, uh, Bedhead Books. That is the interview done and dusted with. I'm sorry about the cat invasion there. Yeah, so um, I hope you've enjoyed yourself and um, thank you for joining me, my friend. Thank you very much for having me, Pixie, and thank you too to your amazing subscribers. So that is the end of another interview. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. Bedhead Books will be in the description below. Uh, all his links will be there. And also DJM Films who did a video, or well, the banner behind me I should say. Yes, yeah, so he did the banner behind me. Thank you very much Dennis for that. Absolutely awesome. His link, like I said, will be in the description below. That is another interview done and dusted. A bit of a cat invasion one there, but hey ho, never mind. These things happen, so I do apologise, but if you like what you saw, when you go and click on those two links in the description, please consider hitting that big red button, uh, leaving a like and a comment on their videos, and also sharing the channel out, so if you can get some more supporters. And if you're watching this for the very first time, and you like what you saw, please consider hitting my big red button, and also leaving a like and a share and a comment. That would be absolutely awesome. Alright then guys, another interview done and dusted and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now!